right, today's Saturday, June 18th, 2022. And we're gonna be blocking down the 68 here. Where we left off is it's in three coats of Super Build uh, Polyester Primer. So right now we're guide coating the whole thing with a 3M dry guide coat. And I got a fresh roll of 80 grit Sunmite paper. I like the Sunmite. And just an assortment of blocks, some acrylic, some Durablock, some other brand. So that's today's goal is to get this thing locked down with 80 grit, possibly the fenders. I think it's maybe about six hours of work, four to six. We'll see. Got two people on it today only. So I'll bring you guys back once we get some work in. Here we are, it's about lunchtime. Uh, so we got the shell done in 80 grit. I just guide coated these fenders, so we're gonna go ahead and knock these out today as well. Should go pretty quick, about an hour. And we're gonna have to hit the, some of these edges on these pieces. I don't think the whole thing needs 2K primer, but definitely the edges. We'll see how they feather out. Uh, but these are an epoxy from uh, about a week ago along with some other pieces. Just some little areas like right here. It's probably not gonna pick up, but take you around the shell here. You can see where we got a little breakthrough to the epoxy underneath this, which is good. It means there's not a lot of material. Mainly we wanted it right here where it was really wavy. And uh, we got some breakthrough, so it's pretty thin. I, don't, I think I only put one coat of super build up here when we did it. I think I put three coats around the roof. So that, that came out nice. On this side, we got some breakthrough here to the epoxy. So that's good. That tells us we don't have a whole lot of material. We just have it where it, where it counts. So next up for the shell is uh, it's feathered out pretty nice here. I got the super build here, got the epoxy here, the epoxy with the original paint. So it should transition pretty good. Uh, next up on the shell is going to be 2K primer either tomorrow or Monday. One round 2K, and then it's going to be the same thing we just did, but with 180 grit. Also got the firewall. It's blocked down pretty nice up here on the crease. And then we just DA the rest with 180. So moving right along, two man, two man show today. So I'll bring you guys back once we get these fenders done. All right, today's Monday, June 20th, 2022. It's 84 degrees in here, 75% humidity. It's about 7:30 in the morning. Today I'm going to be uh, spraying this shell. And 2K primer, probably go ahead and get the fenders in it also. As usual, we're going to be using SPI products, 2K high build. Got some wax and grease remover. Where we left off, uh, we sanded this whole shell a couple days ago. 80 grit, it was in super build, polyester primer. We knocked everything down with 80 grit. It didn't need any more filler spread. Um, so we're ready to proceed. Uh, with the next step, which would be uh, wax and grease it, wax and grease remover, and then the 2K primer. So I'm thinking at least two coats, possibly three. We have a whole gallon. Uh, and go from there. I'm gonna be spraying it with a Iwata Airgunza 2.0 tip. 
pretty good gun for primer. What works for the polyester works even better for the for the SPI. So like I said, we knocked it down 80 grit. No need for any more filler spread, which is good. Uh, we did have a little bit of breakthrough throughout, but overall, nothing of concern. So we get to mixing up before it gets too hot out here. Bring you guys back once we get it sprayed. All right, here we are about a hour and a half later. And I got this thing in three coats of the high build. It's pushing 95 degrees already. So we had a, or I had a little bit of a stripe down the center, a little bit dry, but uh, it's, it's okay. Just, it's just primer. Firewall is looking good. Uh, this took 90 ounces of sprayable and the last coat I reduced a little bit to try and get it to spray out a little better uh, with the 2.0. Sprayed it at 35 PSI, 30 to 35. But like I say, not much to show. It's just primer, it's just gray primer. Um, but it's a step towards the end result. So I didn't put it where it needed, where it didn't need to go. There's no point in primer in the dash at this point. Uh, so I think the next step for this is going to let it let it cure for, for a few days. I'm going to push it outside. And then this coming weekend, we're going to guide coat it in 180. And then it needs another round of primer. I don't think it needs high build. We're going to have to buy some primer. Probably just go regular primer or the SPI turbo maybe. I don't think there's a need for high build anymore at this point. So I'm going to push this out. I'm going to uh, wheel the fenders in here. And might as well go ahead and get that done today too. So, bring you guys back. All right, so here we are. I got these things in two coats of the high build. Uh, it's about 12 ounces each round, and we're all out of high build. So, sprayed about 100 ounces today. <coughs> of course, it ain't much to show off, <coughs> just primer. But, big step. So, got this car out here baking. It's probably a cool 97 degrees by now. It's already dry. It's been dry. It's dry as soon as it came out the gun. But that's going to be all for this uh, segment here. So this weekend's plan is to uh, guide coat 180. Personally, my favorite stage. Looking forward to it. So I'll bring you guys back once we get some more work in. All right, today's Saturday, June 25th, 2022, where we left off. Last time was this was in two or three coats of the SPI 2K high build. So right now what we're going to do today is we're going to block this thing down again with 180. So right now we got the dry guide coat going on as usual. Guide coat the whole thing. We're going to hit the jams today. The shell and the fenders with 180. Well the jams are probably going to be 320 they don't need a whole lot of primer so my plan is to get this whole thing in 180 and then over the next couple days get it in another round of primer and then uh, 400 and then it's ready for paint so we got the fenders out here baking back once we get started. Hamburger con papitas. So everything's in 180. A little bit of breakthrough, but not much. We got some more high build that'll fix all these little breakthroughs, I think. I think the worst one is back here. Uh, we had the mobile sandblaster come out yesterday. He did my frame and then he, we threw this in there. So we got this in, in epoxy, black epoxy. That's pretty much done. 
it's narrowed one inch. Uh, new bearings, new seals. Uh, we're just gonna go through the brakes, but the rear end's pretty much ready to go under the car. Two coats of black SPI epoxy. We waited uh, about 12 hours after sandblast or so. So not too long. Working on the skirt. What you think? How's they how they blocking down? Blocking down nice man. Nothing mm -hmm. nothing low so far. Everything has been pretty flat. Not a lot of material on there, man. It's yeah. already breaking through to the super yeah. build. One more round, 400? Yeah, that's it. 400 wet. Less mess. <laughs> Less mess? Yeah. Wet? Because it falls straight to the ground. Yeah, that's the mess. They don't get all over my porch. We're going to put the door on Tana's fender. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. Put this, the, the 61 antennas right here on the fender. So they can leave with the follow the windshield. windshield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been working on the hood over here. Just got a little bit left here. Outside of this little repair, the hood is straight. So I think we'll finish that up. Bubby will finish that up after lunch. Moving right along. All right, it's Monday, June 27th, early in the morning. Try to get out here and, and beat the heat. Uh, I got everything prepped already. I did most of it last night. All I'm gonna do is spray some high build. Again, like I say, where we left off, this was sanded in 180. And uh, oh, we got a friend. Uh, the whole thing's in 180. The jams are in 320. So what I'm going to do is use uh, SPA SPI 2K high build. Got some poured out already. Got to mix it up. Uh, going to go for three coats on the outside, uh, unreduced, maybe a splash of reducer, and then. Maybe two coats on the firewall and then one coat on the dash and in the door jams. There's really no need for a bunch of high build in the door jams, but do want to kind of get a little something in there, get it uniform. So, like I say, last night I wiped this whole thing down, blew it off, cleaned it up. So all i got to come in here is, is spray. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Trying to beat the heat. Currently 81 degrees. Better than 91, so hopefully this get this done here before the sun comes up. So I'll bring you guys back. All right, here we are. Three sprayable quartz later. I uh, got the shell in pretty much three. Firewall in two. And jams in about one and a half. I emptied the gun. Uh, big difference in temperature and the way the product sprays out. It's uh, currently 79 with the door open. Um, like I said, we've got the jams in two coats, got the dash in one. Most of that's covered. Um, trunk gutters, one. Because we bare metal those, so there's not a whole lot of material on that. So, like I say, it's just primer, nothing really to look at, but it is the last stage. So next up for this car is going to be, actually next up is going to be Raptor. We're going to Raptor line the bottom underneath uh, this coming weekend before we wet sand. 
the car. So wrapped her underneath, 400 grit wet, seal it, and it's ready for paint. So a couple weeks away here, so I'm gonna keep going. Uh, it's only seven o'clock. Get a lot done when you get out of bed. Uh, gonna bring the fenders in here, trunk, and uh, moonroof cover. So I should have about half a gallon. We still gotta save some for the hood but I think we'll have enough primer. So overall, big difference in the way the product sprays temperature-wise. It's 79 in here. By, by 10 or 11 o'clock this morning, it'll be, it'll be 95. So uh, just a note to self, in the future, primer is better sprayed at night. A few bugs in here, but it's just primer. So bring you guys back once I get the fenders in here. All right, here we are. I got everything cleaned off here. So the trunk or deck lid, uh, that's been in 180. I just briefly went over it right now, scuffed it down real quick, blew it off, wiped it down. Let me zoom out here. Fenders, we got these in 180 over the weekend. Looking pretty good. And then the moonroof cover's been in 180 for several weeks here. Uh, I just went over it real quick. Freshen up a bit and then wiped it down. Uh, so pretty much more of the same. Same primer, same gun, same PSI. Uh, I'm thinking just two coats on this stuff. I mean the trunk almost doesn't even need it. Fenders maybe, roof lid maybe spot. But I'm gonna go ahead and probably do one coat on the roof lid. One on the trunk, two on the fenders. Probably go ahead and mix up a quart something like that so it's about eight o'clock now starting to warm up sun's out 82 bring you back once i coat it all right so here we are i got everything pushed out here we got the fenders and two coats got a little hair right there but that's all right actually it sprayed out a lot better or a lot thinner well, i did reduce it a little bit but uh I, Two coats on everything just to fill in any leftover scratches. <clears throat> Moonroof cover. Deck lid. Another fender. And then of course the shell, which I showed earlier. So sprayed out pretty good. Got a little bit dry right here for some reason. I think it was primer on top of primer dust that caused that. All right, so uh, everything's ready for 400 grit. We're gonna let all this stuff cure for at least a week. I'm gonna let it sit out here till about noon. Nice and toasty. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. So, like I say previously, next step this coming weekend is Raptor, yellow tinted Raptor to match the car on the floor pans underneath. Um, and then probably probably go ahead and hit the the fenders and, and deck lid moonroof 400 grit wet guide coat 400 grit wet and shouldn't have any breakthrough if we do that's okay uh i'm gonna go with gray uh gray epoxy as a sealer which is pretty much similar to this color and then we're going with the butternut yellow which i believe the paint is being bought as I speak so moving right along I think we're two weekends away from from a paint job honestly uh, this place needs a major major wash down pressure wash sweep before we paint anything in here so much filler dust and primer overspray and the place is filthy but it's normal so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and move these pieces in. And scuff them up and hit them. Hit them with, uh, or maybe not, honestly. I don't know. We'll see. These things are ready for, for a scuff and sealer. So... That's a wrap for this uh, episode, this weekend here. Bring you guys back once we start the Raptor.